Hello, Tara and Carlos. Yeah, here. And since we're new homeowners, we get to have the fun of actually making our home our own with our own little touches. We bought uh, Boutclair wallpaper. It's uh, self stick, and uh, they have really cool, affordable home decor type things. And they actually now have a furniture line. But we really liked uh, this birch pattern and thought it would look really nice on our feature wall. And it's really inexpensive. It's $34.99 a roll and uh, it's actually a double roll so it goes a little further on the wall than most uh, wallpapers. We've never put up wallpaper before. We looked online and looked on YouTube for Boucler Home wallpaper tips and there were none. So that's what we're gonna do today. We are making you a how to install your very own self stick wallpaper. Um, this one from Boucler. And so here we, here we go. go. Here's a snap of everything that you'll need for this project. I will list it in detail in the comments and description below. So first you start off measuring the length of the wall. Uh, once you get it fully measured to the ground, then you lock the measuring tape in place and lay it on the ground. Then you can roll out your wallpaper to the length of the measuring tape and give a little bit extra, maybe like 5 to 10 centimeters on each side. And then you cut. Make sure once again that you give 5 to 10 centimeters on each side so that you can line up properly. Then you start to line up each individual strip against the other one, leaving a little bit of slack each time. Then you roll up each sheet into a tight roll with the print on the inside and secure the roll with a clip so that it stays in place. So it turns out that we needed actually a third roll and that we'd only need one more strip out of the third roll. So we're in a conundrum as to whether we go back to the store or um, abandon ship. What do you think, Carlos? I think we're going back to the store. <laughs> I think one of us is going back to the store. One of us is going back to the store. Now we're ready to start. So fill the tray with water. Uh, about two-thirds of the way up and insert your rolled up pre-pasted wallpaper in and roll it around. Wait for about 30 seconds, get it good and sopping wet. Once you have it all wet, uh, it is time to start putting it on the wall. So pull up the paper slowly. Um, this is where you need a ladder and you definitely need two people. Uh, you pull it all the way up to the top, uh, giving it a little slack at the ceiling, letting it fold over, and then taking your putty knife and making that fold good and uh, crisp. Then you take your uh, smoothing tool and smooth out all of the bubbles that you can on the uh, wallpaper. Then you just do this again and again, lining up each one of the rolls so that it lines up with the previous pattern. This is the part that was the trickiest for us uh, since the pattern repeats uh, not as frequently as other patterns. So the tip I would give here is after you've first laid out your wallpaper, before you even put it up on the wall, Make sure to number the rolls as to which order that you're putting it up. Otherwise, just repeat, paste and repeat, paste and repeat, paste and repeat until you get the, get to the corner and then use that spatula again to crease into the corner of the wall and cut it off with an X-Acto knife. So it turns out that we can wallpaper. A couple of tips to know. Number one. Buy yourself an extra roll, even if it's calculated out and it says that you know you only need two rolls or three rolls, just get an extra roll. You can always take it back later. It sure the heck beats getting in the car in the middle of a job 
and driving out to the store to pick up another. The second tip would be to number your rolls. So after you measure everything out and cut it, um, make sure that you put which number <laughs> that you measured that out at. So like the first one, the second one, the third one, fourth one. Four. So number three, take it slow, uh, measure twice, cut once. Um, it's definitely a two person job and we found out that yeah, we couldn't even have one person taping and then the other person doing because you need lots of hands involved uh, with this and getting everything lined up. Patterns like ours were extra tricky because they repeated like, you know, every foot or so. Um, most patterns on wallpaper will like repeat in shorter blocks. So lining things up may not be as big of a problem, but with the birch trees, the pattern repeated at a like a long interval. So we were we wasted a lot of paper um, at the end of the day, and lining up was turned out to be a really important thing for us. It would be also good to have a little bit of extra paste around because um, pre-pasted paper um, sometimes can get unpasted at different points. Um, make sure also that your knife is really sharp, uh, your X-Acto knife, because it can start to shred the paper a little bit. Um, feature wall with the wallpaper was a really great idea because it's just completely changed the look and feel. Um, and I didn't do it before picture, but I will do an after picture and you can see how it's you know made the room feel really uh, interesting and given it some depth thank you so much for watching us wallpaper our wall I hope that this gave some great hints and tips for people that are thinking of doing the same Buclair home is found at Buclair.com and I am a big fan of their prices and style. So uh, until next week, talk to you soon.